Happy Batman Day. What's up, y'all? I'm Lawrence St. Victor for Three Brothers and a Shot of Milk, and I figured what better day to show off my Batman action figure and vehicle collection than Batman Day. Now, this isn't all of them. There are a bunch in the box in the attic of my parents' house, but these are the ones that I have with me right now. Let's get into it. All right, guys, let's get into it first up guy in the middle my mcfarland superpowers batman this retro figure is so freaking dope it's got the cape master cape on it ah i love this figure i have an unboxing of him in the playlist for unboxing so if you want to see more of him check it out Next up, we have this guy right here. Now, he came in a box set with the Alex Ross Batman figure right there. And uh, this Batman figure right here. Now, he also came with like the original costume, but I don't know where that is right now. So, you'll have to bear with me. But how dope are these figures, man? They're fun, simple figures. His ear actually came crooked like that. So, I don't know, but both pretty dope figures. Next up, we have, let's just go to the movie collection. <laughs> let's do the movie collection. Right here, I have my Michael Keaton, where was this, the Arctic Blast Batman figure? It was called Arctic Blast, and he came with that thing that went over him. I love this figure so much. Uh, I love collecting these because when I was a kid, I would act like Batman had a different suit for every occasion. So I also have this guy right here. Now I do have the basic black one. It's not with me right now, but I believe he came with like a, a gold uh, a grapnel gun. Uh, but let me, correct me if I'm wrong, but I did have a black one of these as well. And the gold one, of course, gotta have the gold one. Next up, I have my, <laughs> talk about Arctic figures, my George Clooney Batman figure from Batman and Robin. And I also have the basic black one right here. Now this cape actually went to the Batgirl figure of this line. He came with some weird kind of like thing on his back, the holes right there, but I much preferred the soft goods cape. And as much as that movie was crazy, and even as a kid, I knew that movie was kind of whack, but I really liked the figures. I have the Robin one too. I might do a separate Robin collection. Let me know if you guys like these. And then of course I have my Mattel Batman Begins figure. And this is a great figure, guys. This is an awesome figure right here. I love the cape what's connected utility belt on the back this is my only christian bale batman action figure i prefer the batman begins suit in figure form more than the dark knight but uh that's an amazing figure and continuing with the movie collection this is my mattel batman be superman batfleck action figure this is such a dope figure, guys. I remember when I saw them, like this was the first time we had the gray and black suit on screen live action. You know, before this, they were all black and then we had the Adam West. So it was so cool to see like the comic version of the bat suit come to life with Affleck. And I also have this Affleck number right here. When he fought Superman, when he put on his kind of, uh, armor mech suit. It's just a good suit. Batman with a gun. I don't know about that, but <laughs> it's such a great figure right here. And in finishing out the movie collection, of course, man, the McFarlane Robert Pattinson Batman figure. This joint is so dope. I love this movie. 
and this figure. I love the details. And, you know, as we get into the McFarlane figures, there's a lot of details to talk about here. But I just love it, man. The detail in the suit. And this doesn't really go here, but there is a loop for it to go there. So why the heck not? But I love this Pattinson Batman figure. And while I'm on live action Batman, and this also, he did have a movie, so I guess he counts as a movie figure. But my Adam West Mattel Batman figure. I just love this figure. I love the color. And no, the face sculpt isn't as good as McFarlane, but the articulation is 10 times better. So when you need a Adam West <laughs> figure to fit on the Bat Cycle, I don't think you're going to be, uh, I don't think it's going to be better than this one, to be honest with you. It's so articulate for the vehicles and stuff. But let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know how your McFarlane Batman 66 figure fits on his Bat Cycle. Such a great figure. Next up, let's go to this Alex Ross figure. He came in that pack I was talking about. And I mean, you got to love Alex Ross, man. Look how amazing this looks. Just the detail here, man. And, and even they finish out the rest of his uh, utility belt. And it looks so freaking good. It's one of my favorite figures. But I have to say I like this one even better. With the black bat. This is just classic, man. And no, would it be practical for Batman to actually just wear cloth? But I mean, it looks so great in figure form. It looks great in the comics. Just texture right here, man. Such a great figure. Such a great figure. Next up, <laughs> my cousin Chris gave me this one. This is from the uh, Justice League animated series, which is kind of the style of Batman the Animated Series, but a little bit more updated and actually a little less detail as well. But still a very, very fun figure. Very fun figure. And since we're talking about my cousin Chris, he also gave me this. This is like McFarlane's first Batman figure, right guys? Ah, uh, and it's, it's great, man, it's great. I forgot the comic book. It was an anniversary comic book this was made after. Let me know in the comments section. This is kind of his first one, and you can see the, the beginnings of the articulation. The ab crunch isn't what it eventually will be, and that's such a great utility belt right there. It's so good. It's a good figure, man. It's a good, like, beginning McFarlane figure. Now, this right here is one of my favorite figures from DC Direct, man. This is that Jim... Lee Batman figure from that uh, Justice League comic. The, the, the new origin of the Justice League that came out. And this is like, this was my favorite Batman figure. I'll show you my favorite one. This was my favorite one. I just love the detail. I love that Jim Lee art style. I love the way the cowl kind of just sits on him right here. And I love that when he stands, they kind of, have the cape like that. So it's just the details, man, the details. Usually I didn't like the way this was drawn a whole lot in the comics and the same thing with the new 52 Superman. But the way Jim Lee did it, it just always worked for me. Love this figure. Now this Batman figure came in a... Sorry about that, guys. We hit a bit of a technical difficulty. I knocked the camera off the tripod but we're gonna keep it going. Now this came in a two pack with um, Superman and I forgot the story. It came with a comic book, but it's like they put on these cyber suits or something. I'm not exactly sure, but I thought it was a cool figure, especially to have one that kind of matched the Superman one. It's kind of a fun figure. Definitely like a product of the 90s for sure. The next up, oh, I love this figure. This is the Mattel Batman figure. This actually came with a Robin. I think it might've been like a Toys R Us exclusive or something, but I just love this Batman. I love the long, giant, flowing cape. 
and the the sculpt of the head. I mean, these Mattel figures were great. And I love a pouchy belt, you know. <laughs> Rich Chris and Jack will tell you how much I love a pouchy belt. This makes Batman look a little bit more practical, like a little bit more real world. Um, love this figure. Love this figure. It actually came with a Robin, the Tim Drake, that was black and blue. This is very interesting. Next up, I, okay, I know I'm saying I love this figure, but they're mine, so yeah, I love most of these figures. And this is my Arkham Knight Batman figure. I feel like this is such a dope, practical bat suit. The details, man, the shoulder pads right here. Now, I, I, I've never had the McFarlane one in hand, so let me know how this one from, uh, I believe, DC Direct Look at the detail there. Let me know how the one measures up. Uh, the McFarlane one versus this DC Direct one. I'm, I'm curious, but this one is so great. Look at the belt. Look at that. Let me bring you right here. Let's get focused here. Look at the detail here. And I also have the uh, Robin and the Nightwing. I think I'm going to do a separate Robin video. Let's get into the bad Batman. Now, this joint is sick. This is from DC Direct. And this is a Bizarro Batman. Look at the the chains right here, the utility belt that's upside down. And it's funny because in the back world, backwards world, Batman smiles <laughs> with the upside down bat logo. This is great. This came out of the comic book. I forget. Was this this was an Emperor Joker, was it? I forget. Was this a Mr. Splick McSplick stick? Ugh. <laughs> creation I have no idea or just straight from Bizarro World let me know but I just thought this figure was amazing now let's keep going down the road to bad Batman oh man Batman of Earth 22 man McFarlane showed out with this figure man how dope is this I mean the detail and how this infected Bruce Wayne that kind of turns into the Joker. And ah, uh, look at the, I mean, look at this head sculpt, guys. Look at this head sculpt right here. Let's get focused. Look at that. McFarlane knows how to do a freaking head sculpt. And I love the neon colors here, man. And I love the how like it's like you see the material and how it's almost like shrink wrapped around them, but it fits, but it doesn't fit, which is perfect for the Joker and these pointed boots. I love I can stare at this figure like all freaking day. When I first saw the images of this, I was like, I have to have it. I have to have it. Such an amazing figure. This might I mean, one of my favorite Batman figures right here. Now, going down the line of Bad Batman, we have this Owl Man right here. And to be honest with you guys, it's, I mean, most Batman figures are just black and gray. But for a black and gray figure, they use such dope, I mean, they make it look like it, the suit's made of different materials. And I'm not going to go too deep into this. I actually did an unboxing on this guy. So you can check out the unboxing playlist. And if you want to see more of him, hit that up. But Owlman is just, he's fire. Such a dope figure. Now, he's not necessarily a bad Batman, but he's not necessarily a, a super good guy either. But this Thomas Wayne Batman is sick. I love this figure. You got the holsters right here. And was he the last DC McFarlane figure to come with a gun before DC said no more guns? I don't know, but I'm so happy he did come with guns because it's so crucial to his story. The fact that he uses guns, the fact that he, when Bruce Wayne died in front of him, it turned him into a very different Batman than the one of the uh, the primary Earth. So I feel like he kind of needs to come with a gun. And I just love this figure. He's such a great figure. Next up, we have this Dark Knight Returns figure. My boy Jack got me this figure right here. 
and it's a dope figure, man. I was on the fence with collecting the rest of this wave, the Superman and um the Robin and the Joker. I'm probably not, but I really am happy I have this figure and that belt is so pouchy. I mean, it, it looks like a freaking statue. For a $20 price point, you can't go wrong with this figure. My goodness. Speaking of Jack, he just did a really great unboxing of this guy. He's my newest figure, and this dude is sick. I absolutely love the way this speeding bullets Batman slash <laughs> Superman came out. I love the idea of this story of what if kal -El's ship landed in Gotham City and the Waynes adopted him and he became Bruce Wayne? I mean, I love the whole idea of this. And he's kind of like a super-powered Batman. With all the flashpoints and the crisis, you figure like this guy would show up again from another Earth. How dope would it be if he touches down and Superman and Batman look at him like, who are you? And you have a guy who relates to Superman but also relates to Batman at the same exact time. That's pretty dope. DC, make that story. But this is freaking fire. Such a great figure. Great figure. I can look at this forever because I kind of just opened him. But check out Jack. He did a whole unboxing on this guy if you want to see more of him. Now to my favorite Batman figure. The McFarlane Three Jokers. Batman figure. I mean, just look at the details right here. Look at that face go, like the material. Like, like it's like his, his, his cowl was sculpted from like leather over some type of helmet, Kevlar, or whatever. It looks so real. And I love the nod to kind of the Keaton belt with the Keaton boots. Uh, this is this is like my primary Batman figure. He's the one that stands with the Bat family. I just love the texture, man. And I do like, you know, I don't know a lot of people, they, they, they like when their capes are flowing, but I do like a standard cape that just kind of drops down. You know, I can kind of pose them the way I want to without having or being forced to play the wind or something. But this is my favorite Batman figure. And next up, <laughs> why not, is my Batman Pez dispenser. Because you know what, chum? Every now and then you need some nourishment and some Pez. I haven't had Pez in a long time. Let me know if it still tastes good. Or did it ever taste good? And then I have this bad boy right here from uh, Justice League. This, oh, yeah. This giant Batman figure right here. And this is just really cool. It's cool to have in the case amongst the, the smaller ones. Very simple. Not much art. The legs don't even move. But if you're a fan of the Justice League series, it's really fun to have. Now, I figured I'll do some Batgirls. Because I don't have enough Batgirl figures to do a whole Batgirl thing. So I figured I'll throw them in here. First up is the from Mattel, and this is like that uh, Cassie Kane, I think her name is. You know, like the Super Ninja. I just thought this was a really great Batgirl costume, especially since it's not Barbara Gordon, so it looks like Batgirl, but it also kind of has her own thing. And uh, she is great. She stands up really great with the Mattel figures. Love this Batgirl figure. And then I kind of have this, uh, I think this is from this is from Justice, but this uh, Alex Ross inspired Batgirl figure, which stands really great with the Batman. And just the two-tone cape and the texture and just how it just feels like material, how super realistic it is. Love this figure. And then, yo. <laughs> My Alicia Silverstone Batgirl figure from Batman and Robin. Now, say what you want about that movie. But for the time, those figures were dope. They were great. Let's, yeah, let's get focused. Those are some great figures, man. 
Kind of looks like her a little bit, especially for a 90s figure. That's such a great figure right there. And then I have my three Jokers Batgirl. She's my primary Batgirl that I uh, pose with the Bat family. I love an old school kind of Babs costume uh, with the cowl and the yellow and the, and the gray. I like that a lot. And she comes with a Batarang. And it's a really great figure, man. It's one of those times I don't mind the capes kind of being windswept. And last but not least, as far as figures are concerned, my Yvonne Craig Mattel Batgirl figure. And this is an amazing figure. It came in like a three pack, I think. I don't think she was ever sold separately. And from what I hear, McFarlane, her estate or something has, of course, the license to her appearance which is why I think we haven't seen her come out in the McFarlane figures. So this might be the last and only Yvonne Craig Batgirl figure. So this might be your only chance to have a Batgirl 66 figure. Get her on eBay. Probably you're spending some money, but it might be worth it if you have a 66 collection. And let's look at some vehicles real quick, man. I have this from, uh, what's this called? This is from, uh, is it Jada? Jada? I'm not really big on cars. I think it's Jada. Or is it Jabba? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> but I love this Batmobile from the Batman. I really dug it. I, I'm happy that it's a car again. Tumblr was dope, but I think Batman should be in a car, not a tank. And I love how this car is a muscle car, but it also feels like a Batmobile too. Love it. And of course, I have my 66 Batmobile. How dope is that? And of course, you can't have a Batmobile without the freaking Tim Burton 1989 or Batman Returns Michael Keaton Batmobile. Now, rumor has it we're going to get one of these things from McFarlane for a seven inch figure. Because as we know, the Flash movie will come out, maybe, eventually. And we're going to get some fig uh, figures and vehicles when that movie comes out. And apparently, one of them might be this bad boy. Now, moving on to vehicles. The 66 Bat Cycle. It's just an amazing figure. I did an unboxing on this one. So if you want to see it in detail... Check out the unboxing and the way the Mattel figures fit on it. So check out that unboxing in the playlist. But, I mean, this was great. I have the Batcave. I have the Batmobile. I, I had to get it. And then we have that Mattel Batmobile, which, in my opinion, is just leaps, leaps ahead of the McFarlane one. This Mattel one, and you can't say that about like every Mattel figure or probably none of them, but this Batmobile beats the McFarlane one. The details are much more spot on. It's bigger, so I know the McFarlane figures kind of sit up high in that Batmobile, but this one, they sit perfectly, and it's just way more screen accurate. Of course, it's more expensive. It was more expensive when it first came out, and definitely more expensive in the secondhand market. Next up, I have my, you hear that? You know what that sound is. My superpowers Batmobile, literally held together with tape. I need to find a way to kind of sort of restore it. But I had this when I was a kid, man. I was playing with this at five years old. So I said for a kid that played hard with his toys, this held up really well. Such a great figure, man. Such a great vehicle. And what makes this so special, and the new one so special, is how this Batwing pairs with it perfectly. Now, I did a whole super unboxing of my new uh, Superpowers figures and vehicles, and I had them side by side with the old school ones and also a Toy Biz Robin. So you can check out that unboxing. Again, it's in the playlist. But this Batwing is dope. My canopy is a little broken, and I know that's been happening to people, so if you pick this up, be careful with the spring load in the spring. The spring is pretty sensitive, but it's a, 
it's a dope figure. It's a dope vehicle, excuse me. And then I have that here. You guys remember that Kenner uh, Batmobile when Batman Returns came out? This is that quick change Batmobile. So you put Bruce Wayne uh, back there and Batman right here. So like he's in his car, ah, he's in his car. In the front, he's in his car. And then you do this, boom, and it's like he turns into Batman. This was this, was, this when I was a kid playing with uh, the Keaton Batman. This was my primary uh, Batmobile. And I actually preferred it over the classic one. I know that's weird, but there was something so sleek and so cool about this one that this ended up being my primary Batmobile when I played with it as a kid. And I also had the, uh, the Batcave playset, you know, the one where that you can drive through the clock and they had the... Uh, chamber where you can change clothes. Uh, yeah, the Kenner Bat Batcave. Oh, really, it was Wayne Manor and Batcave. Remember that? I also had the Superpowers Batcave as well. No, that was Toy Biz. The Toy Biz Batcave. I also had the Toy Biz the Batman, you know, with the belt that pulls out. Definitely broke. And I had the Superpowers Batman. All not here, unfortunately. But last up, I have this amazing figure, man. I just really love everything about the Batman. I'm a huge fan of that movie. I like it a lot. Uh, and this Batmobile, we didn't see it for a long time, but still, it's just a dope Batmobile. It's so simple, it's slick, and when you look at it, it says Batman. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Now guys, I think Batman is one of the greatest superheroes because he is so pliable, man. You can have kind of the uh, the classic, you know, action adventure Batman, and he works for that. You can also have a Batman that is a uh, a little more campy, a little bit more. Hey, chum. Right? Or you can have a Batman that is a little bit more uh, detective. Detective noir, you know? I'm talking as I'm looking for <laughs> my Pattinson Batman. Bear with me. You can have a Batman that's a kind of noir detective type Batman. Right, or you can have a Batman that's really gritty, high tech, super realistic Batman, or you can have a Batman that is straight up just <laughs> killing people. <laughs> and I said that to say that Batman is such an amazing character that. He fits whatever genre you want him to be. Like I said, he can be a noir detective story. He can be a high-tech realistic story. He can be kind of action adventure right here. He can be campy. He can be super violent and super gritty, right? Or he could be, uh, there's one more. There's one more. What am I missing? He can be, um... oh, of course. How can I forget? Or he can be gothic. And Batman kind of fits into whatever mold you want to put him in. So thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's a long one. I hope you had a good freaking time. Uh, let me know in the comment section, what's your favorite kind of Batman? Like, what world do you like him to live in most? Let me know. Uh, for me... I dig them all right now. I'm really vibing with kind of the detective kind of grounded story right now. That's for right now. And then, you know, I might switch it up and want to see Batman kind of like Justice League Batman fighting aliens, you know, fighting Darkseid. But the best thing about Batman is you don't 
have to choose. All right, guys, this is my video. Make sure you check out our playlist. We have so much more uh, video. We have unboxings. We, we, we talk comic books. We, we do movie reviews. We do a whole lot of really cool stuff. So make sure you check that out. And uh, yeah, we'll be back. Whoa! His arm fell off. Don't mind that. <laughs> so that is this video. Thank you for bearing with me and happy, happy Batman day. Peace. What's up, y'all? Welcome to Three Brothers and a Shot of Milk. We're